Stephen is the man with the hat and the metal detector. Oh, oh. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Oh, oh. Metal detecting and digging up some holes, looking for anything that's old. New videos every week, so please subscribe. Hi, this is Stephen and today I'm on the cold North Norfolk coast. I've been invited here by Toby and Toby has said, look, as you're in the area, not far visiting your family in Norfolk, just give me a buzz when you're in here next and come and have a dig. So I'm here having a dig with Toby. I'm sitting on a pile of sugar beet <laughs> and the uh, crops are only half out, but we've got lots of land and um, we're going to see what we can find. Now he said to me, if you cannot find a hammer today, you need to take up knitting. Get rid of your dais and buy some wool. Anybody got any needles? Also, it's a special day for me today because I'm having a find of the day competition where I will put in that corner there a little drop down. There's a little circle with a, a line in it that drops down and you can vote for the find of the day. And this time it's between myself and She Detector. Now, She Detector is in lovely Florida, my favourite place in America to visit, and often detects just in her shorts or bikini or whatever, and I am so envious because I wish I was there right now instead of in cold blighty. So anyway, here's to you, She Detector, and uh, I'll show you my find of the day at the end of this video, whereas um, my subscribers and your subscribers can both vote and see who the overall winner of the find of the day competition and I wish you good luck and happy hunting so let's get digging yes hello everybody this is she detector and I want to start off by saying thank you Stephen aka the man with the hat for inviting me to do or to take part in this friendly competition of find of the day I'm very excited uh, today I'll be hunting some curb strips in an older part of Tarpon Springs um, I'm starting off next to this house over here, which was built in 1901. So I'm really hoping I'll find maybe some silver in these curb strips, potentially. I don't know. Um, and, you know, obviously your subscribers and my subscribers will get to vote and see whose find is the winner. Um, so, yeah, again, thank you. And make sure to check out my video of my hunt today so you can see what all I find. And I will see you guys with my entrance into the find of the day competition. This is Toby. And uh, he's also known to make videos as well. Now, I've only got a couple of pennies so far. But he's just found a broken hammer, which he thinks is steady. Let's have a look. Well, oh, it's just a bit damaged. But it looks like a nice. Hammered up with my eyes, I hold eyes, I can't see much on there. Yeah. What can you see? Um, see Short pellets, cross, long cross? Long cross, pellets, would suggest it's an eddy. Yeah, that's an Edward. Definitely an eddy. London, I can see D-O-N on the side. You have got good eyes. Wow. There you go. Well, that's the first one of the day. Well, you're never going to believe this. A spindle wall. <laughs> I'm always finding spindle walls. Lovely job. First one of the day. I've got a five pence normal one. Oh, there's my first buckle of the day. I'm probably going to have to get an identification on that from white heads buckles. Oh, it's a bit cold, but uh, I've just dug that hole and I've located the object and I think I know what it is. Yeah, I got it. That is another spindle wall. Doesn't look like it, does it? But it is. That is fantastic. Do you know why? This one is an Iron Age spindle wall. Dated around 1000 to 1200 BC. So that makes it well over 3000 years old. That's a cracker. 
perfect that isn't it? Excellent. Right, that's what I found so far. But I've had to put the large Iron Age spindle wall in my pocket. It won't, the lid won't shut. And I've just got a Georgia fifth halfpenny. So I'll add that there too. That one's a button. But uh, not bad so far. Now over there, there are three brick buildings from the Second, First or Second World War. There are ROC buildings, uh, Royal Observation, protecting the coastline from the Germans coming in. And between that one and that one is a tunnel which you can get through to. And in this one, which is blocked off the tunnel under the ground, it goes about halfway down the coast there. Oh, probably a good three, four hundred yards. But it's blocked off so nobody can get in that one now. Well, that's a strange object. I have no idea what that is. Right, well, it's lunchtime. We've just moved fields. Didn't really find much. And this field behind us, Toby says it's, uh, he's never been detected, so we're going to see what we can find. But before that, it's... Uh, Cake break. Yum yum yum. Thank you, mother. See you later. Spot on. Right, so cake break is over, and I've just got a Georgia third penny on my first target. Super. Just need some more silver ones now. That's the second shock I've had today. It turned out to be a button. Never mind. Oh, another penny. But it's in terrible condition, so. I have no idea, probably Victorian or Georgian. Well, nothing really much has happened in the last half an hour, three quarters of an hour I've been on this field, apart from it raining and it's got really cold. I'm just thinking what it might be like right now to be on a beach in Florida. Uh, I better get hunting. I can't let her beat me. I must find something, although that spindle wall might do if I'm desperate. Anyway, get hunting again, shall we? Well, Toby's on a target, but he doesn't look very confident. And this is the chap that said to me, if you can't find a hammer today, you should take a minute. <laughs> you got it? I am. Right, he's got it. No of crap. Oh well. Never mind. <laughs> At least you found it in the end. Another button. Not doing very well today. Oh dear. Oh, we've just taken a bit of refuge from the wind. We've managed to find this little piece of pasture just off the side of a field. Anyway, I've had a quick dig on a signal and I've got a tiny weeny little buckle. Look at that, Toby's got a nice hammy. You reckon it's an eddy? I can't tell the difference. But it's not in very good condition, but I tell you what, that's two he's got. And I still ain't got one. Um, military button, I think. Can't really see much on that. At last, another coin. Pretend you're facing right. It's a half penny, but I'm not quite sure who it is. But it's a coin. Good. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? That's what Toby's just found. You can see it's got a well, look at a peacock, I think, on there, and on the other side as well. Um, it's obviously a scabbard of some sort. We don't think there's a lot of age to it, but it's really lovely. Well done, mate. Well, nearly back at the car now. I've not really had a brilliant day. He has. Well, let's have a bit of a roundup. And uh, that one gave me a shock because I thought it was a big hammer. And if it was, it was going to be in better condition than his. But it wasn't. It turned out to be a button. And they got three of them. That's my favourite spindle wall. My little spindle wall, a couple of buckles, no idea what that is, but it's decorated anyway. So really that's about it today. And then we've got Toby's. Oh, he's got two spindle walls, look at that. That's a nice one. Ah, plain or convex. Not seen many of them, so that's going to be old, about 7th century maybe. 
these two hammies, the fragment there. So, you know, he reckons they're both eddies. I can't tell the difference. Okay, Stephen, aka the man with the hat. So, here is my entrance into the find of the day competition. It's a 1936 Buffalo nickel. This is the oldest coin that I have found. I've never found a coin this old. And I think it's pretty cool. It's the 1936 Buffalo Nickel. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> All right. So, yes. Yeah, so this is my official entrance into today's friendly find of the day competition. So hopefully your viewers and subscribers like it. Or I guess subscribers because I think you have to be a subscriber to vote. So hopefully you like it. We'll see how it stacks up to your entrance into the find of the day competition. So, all right, I want to just say thank you again for inviting me to participate in the competition. And make sure you all check out my video so you can see um, me finding this nickel and the other finds that I found today on today's hunt. All right, great, thanks. So that's all I've got, really, to submit for the find of the day. You can vote, don't forget, by pressing the button in the corner. A drop-down will appear, and you can select She Detectors or The Man With A Hat as the overall find in the day because you decide. So I'll catch you later and uh, thanks and I'll see you again soon. Stephen is the man with the hat and the metal detector. Whoa, whoa. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Whoa, whoa. Metal detecting and digging lots of holes, looking for anything that's old. Videos every week, so please subscribe. Catch you later.